All right, Dan, can you just tell us how it feels to be picked as a captain heading into uh, first game tomorrow? Uh, it's unbelievable. I never thought coming in that I would be named a captain for one game, you know, uh, at least. Um, it's an incredible honor. Um, what do you kind of see as your, your role now, being picked as a captain? Um, I guess more of a leadership role than I have ever had, really, on the team. Um, you know, and I'm a senior now, so it's, uh, I guess I've kind of been here for the long haul and earned it, I guess. Um, do some of the other guys, even before, I mean, being picked as a captain, do some of the other guys already kind of look to you, especially on the special team side, uh, for leadership, and especially last year with a couple of the freshmen, kind of showing them how things work? Yeah, I think so. Um, I've been here longer than anyone else uh, on the special teams, so, uh, you know, it's pretty much uh, the new guys, they look look at me and kind of ask what, what they need to do going on. Um, you know, the older guys, they kind of go to me sometimes to go through to the coaches for, you know, concerns that they have and stuff like that. So, um, Coming out of high school, was uh, you had some other choices to play college football. Was Nebraska really uh, right in high school? Was that your number one place where you wanted to play? or? Um, actually, starting out, I wasn't really a huge Nebraska fan. Um, I respected them because, you know, they were so close. You always hear a lot about them. But uh, I was just kind of always a Wyoming fan growing up. Uh, went to all the games growing up. And uh, Nebraska was one of the first schools to recruit me. And uh, I had a chance to go to Wyoming and a scholarship from northern Illinois that I turned down and could have gone to Columbia and played. But I uh, decided to come here, and I don't regret any, any minute of it. Um, can you kind of talk about over your career here in Nebraska, what are some of your favorite moments and um, just stuff like that? Um, I would have to say my favorite on-field moment was throwing the pass against USC. Mm -hmm. um, I've never been more nervous for anything <laughs> in my whole life, but uh, it, was, it was incredible. I could watch it over and over all day. <laughs> Talking about that, um, what was going through your head before that? Uh, it was kind of funny because leading up to the game, all the guys on the team were asking me if I was nervous about it. Saying I'm not nervous about throwing it, I'm just nervous about that I'm going to drop the snap because I was so focused on throwing the ball. And uh, when the snap came, uh, I almost did drop it. And so, but as soon as I let it go, I knew it was a completion and that we had it. So, so going in the game, you already knew. I mean, it wasn't like right before that you found out that's what the play was. You knew going in. No, we practiced it all week, but uh, I definitely not with the with the bobble that I had and. Uh, I didn't know when we were going to run it or yeah. if we were going to run it. They just mm -hmm. said be ready for it. So. Cool. Um, can you talk about 97, why 97, and just kind of the history of that? Um, they actually just randomly gave it to me when I got here, and uh, I wanted to change it. My high school number was 84, and I wanted to mm -hmm. change it for a couple of years. And then I just it just kind of grew on me. I hated it at first, but uh, it grew on me, and just kind of, kind of thought it was funny, so mm -hmm. I kept it. <laughs> Now, being a punter, you're kind of in a weird situation. I mean, obviously, you want to get on the field and play, but at the same time, if you're not getting on the field, it means the offense is doing really well. So you kind of cut in a hard spot right there. Yeah, you gotta. I, I'm always trying to get some balance in that because I, I want to play every game and you know at least have one punt a game. But mm -hmm. you know, that's what I say, one or two, maybe late in the fourth quarter, something like that. So that's that. That'd be the best for me. <laughs> and uh, can you talk about kind of what it means coming out of the tunnel that's right behind us? I mean, what it. The first time you experienced that, what was that like? Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. It's the same as the first time I came through every time. It's uh, something that never gets old. And uh, probably the thing I'll miss the most about this place is just all the fans right there and the music blaring, and it's so loud. It's, uh, it's really incredible. All right, thanks, Dan.